Hello folks, it's Jeff Slavin here, and tonight I want to talk to you about the Ranger Grip 58 from Victorinox. And here you go. Now, its actual name is the Victorinox Delamont Ranger Grip 5800 Switch Army Knife 0.9683MC. But that's a real mouthful. And I don't have a lot of mouth anymore, so from now on, we just kind of call it the Ranger Grip. Okay, let's have a look at some of the specs. Now, this thing has a uh, one opening, uh, one hand opening blade, which I haven't got uh, quite used to yet. But there you go, what a beautiful blade. And this locks in place. Okay, now this has a liner lock, and, and it's a very ingenious liner lock. Okay, because the button over here, which is the shield, look at that. That disengages your liner lock. So, well done, man. That, that's very cool. I really like that. Okay, now it has a um, actual blade length of 3.9 inches, and it has a uh, usable cutting surface of 3.5. And the reason for that is this oversized ricasso down here. Now I don't know why they've got a ricasso so big. But I guess uh, I guess the children are special reasons for it, so that's the way it goes. And so we'll close this up real quick. Now it has a closed length of around five inches. So um, the open length really depends on um, what particular tool that you've got deployed at the time. And it's about an inch thick, and there you go. And let's see, okay, we're going to go to some of the tools now, and this is the wood saw, and it's actually the biggest wood saw um, of any multi tool that I've ever seen, and this is 4.2 inches long. So this is a pretty big one, and um, yeah, you can probably slice through a lot of wood with this. Now let's have a look at one of the other blades, because it's got two blades. Now, this is the skinning blade, and um, yeah, if you're a hunter and you're into skinning and stuff like that, this is the blade for you. Now, if you notice right here on the end, it's got a portion that's not sharpened. Now, the reason for that is I've been told, so if you're actually gutting an animal, you're not going to um, you're not going to uh, pierce the intestines or anything like that. And my God, is this sharp? Both bodies are very sharp. They're scary sharp. And that's where you came out of the box. Okay, so let's see what else we got on here. On the outside, we've got. This uh, really nice uh, first size screwdriver, and that works really well. Also, on here on the outside, we have got where is it? There we go. The R, and that's just the standard the Kronax kind of R. And so obviously it works good because all of the Kronox are work good. Up here, we've got your standard toothpick and your standard tweezers. And 
and there you go. And they're both on one side as opposed to one on either side. And I think the reason they did that is because the, um, the screwdriver uh, takes up a bit of room there. And so that just makes things a lot easier. Okay, now, if you look down here, you're going to see this little area here. And we've talked about this already. But, um, yeah, it's very easy to deploy and put away again. As well, we've got uh, one of the standard uh, Victorinox uh, can openers with a small screwdriver up there. And, um, yeah, as Victorinox does, they're brilliant. Really like them. And finally, we have the screwdriver and bottle opener slash uh, wire stripper. Now, you may notice that this is uh, one of the Wanger um, type screwdrivers, and um, that's pretty cool. It works absolutely brilliantly, and we do love it. Now, this is a pretty big mammal gemma. Um, as I said, it's uh, five inches long, and um, I'm not sure about its exact weight, but I do know that it's very close to the weight of my Leatherman weight, and I know that's around eight inches. Uh, I'm sorry, eight ounces, a and um, this is slightly lighter, so we might say around seven, seven and a half ounces. But yeah, it, it's um, in my opinion, it's a bit big for um, OBC or on body carry, but um, you can apparently get a sheath for it. I didn't get one with mine. However, I did find this uh, spare resume sheet, and it fits in there quite nice. So, um, if, if you don't get the sheet for it, um, it, is a big for, it, it is a bit big for pocket carry. But um, I tell you what, it's great if you want to throw it into a backpack or a sling bag or something along those lines. So, yeah, there you go. It's... Um, it's not the cheapest knife in the world. It's about 65 US dollars. But um, I'll tell you what, it's, it's worth it if you want to pick up something like this. I don't think you're going to be disappointed. And so there you go. That is the uh, Ranger, uh, what's it called? The Ranger 58. Uh, Ranger Grip 58. And, um, yeah, I really like it, and um, I haven't had it out in the fields yet, but I plan to use some testing with it really soon. So, that's that. Until next time, I'm Jeff Slevin, and you're not. And we'll see you again soon. Bye.